live. If I just want to double check everything, should be coming through. There we go. Uh, lovely. Everything's coming through. Nice. Um, for some reason, the equalizer is a bit laggy, but that's fine, I guess. So, hello there, guys. Hello. Welcome to uh, Two Angry Brits Podcasts. I am Chuck Ice 20 and I'm joined here with Colton Games. Hello, guys. How are we all doing in this Thank lovely... Girls. Yep, basically, how are we all doing in this lovely um, self-isolation process where everyone's pretty much been blocked on all social media in the real world, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. Um, the reason it's called Angry Brits because I have a really bad temper, and um, Colton here is just well, British. I'm, I'm British, I do have a temper, but I had learned to control it over the past few years. I haven't. Uh, no, As you guys will see when I uh, upload the video of me playing Space Engineers for the very first time, which hasn't been recorded yet, but I've got a feeling I'm going to lose my temper playing that game. Um, oh, mate. Once, yeah. once we get uh, started on a couple of collabs like between me and yourself... And, uh, well, get a yourself a fucking PC first. And a possible mate of ours. We could possibly be running into a few angry moments. So it could be a three-way YouTube series. Uh, Not sexual, maybe. Every now and then there could be. It, no, unless we're going to stream it to Pornhub, unless that, is that no, allowed? You know what I mean. You, you know my Amorous live streams? I could probably stream them to Pornhub, not safe for work mode. <laughs> oh, actually, I've got to double check that with Pornhub, actually. Um, I'm not sure. So, yeah, uh, we're just going to do a podcast just randomly chatting about random stuff. The things that are off limit, obviously, is mostly... We will talk about politics now and then, but most, of the thing, most definitely we will not talk about is religion and other stuff that is illegal. Oh, I'm not saying that religion's illegal, I'm just saying we won't talk about religion. Um, and obviously uh, stuff that is illegal, like certain types, anyway. Um, On a general basis, yeah, but we can't I talk don't about really, politics. Mostly the British politics, because, you know, Boris Johnson I don't Johnson's tend to really fuck. get into politics much, but when I do, fuck me, you're gonna oh, hear trust me, it's, oh, let's not talk about politics, anyway. But you guys are probably wondering where I have been and all that sort of stuff. Um, I kind of just didn't even bother doing a video or a stream saying goodbye guys for a couple of months or a couple of weeks now. I just I just literally shut down my PC, I DIY'd it all, I even took apart the motherboard and took the RAM cards out so I wouldn't be doing YouTube or Twitch because my mental health kind of uh, degraded quite a lot. But thanks to Colton here, um, he's actually helped me improve and everything. Um, mentally, physically, I'm still a lazy piece of shit. I'm going to be drinking tea like there's no tomorrow, although I do drink the occasional coffee. Um, but yeah, so I want to get back to doing uh, YouTube and mostly Twitch. Um, um, let's see, uh, I do now have another PC, but it's in another location, by something called Shadow PC. And it's actually quite good, it's only $12 uh, a month, and you have up to 10 people to refer, and if they use your refer code, you get $1 off that month. So if you refer 10 people, you get $10 off for the rest of your subscription, which is monthly, so you only be paying $2 for a high-end gaming PC, which what I've got is 12 cores and a... It's only a 1060 graphics card and stuff like that, and you know, it's all good because I can literally, yeah, you have a PC within a PC. It, it gets more complicated. Go to the website, Shadow PC, or Shadow PCs, whatever. It, I'm not sponsored by them. Um, the waiting list is quite long because the things going around, so obviously the shipping stuff is going to be a pain yeah. in the ass to get stuff. Huh. So, you guys know who I am, which is, you know, you know me, but Colin, um, do you like to tell people what you want to do on your channel or. Well, the Basically. sex position you like, or stuff like that? Uh, on the uh, sexual positions and that, I'm still yet to find out my favourite. But on my channel, I am hoping to start off with a few gaming videos to get my channel started. I have got a few videos up ready, um, but over the, over the time of building up the channel, I'm hoping to do a bit of everything, a bit of vlogging, possibly a bit of, I don't know, with uh, recording the woods when you go out for a walk. Yeah, like even camping, like doing a couple That's of nights of camping and stuff yeah, like good that. Save. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like yeah. So in other words, you're you're a small channel, right? At the moment, yeah, you're small. Uh, um, at the time of the stream, you probably got about fifteen subs or something like that. Uh, I've got but about the way but, yeah. the way people do YouTube. What I used to do because I've been doing YouTube since I was uh, fifteen years of age, and I'm now twenty, uh, nearly twenty four. Uh, when I first started YouTube, I wanted to get subscribers and make money from adverts. Yeah, like, that, that, that was the wrong way to go about it. Because I was getting pissed off where the dislikes and all that. And, you know, people coming, oh, you should try this. At the time, I had the laptop, which is so crap. I still have the poor thing. The only good thing about it, it has a one terabyte hard drive. That's the only <laughs> thing good about it. And, literally, it takes about three days for the fucker to boot up. 
And then literally the whole desktop thing will freeze. The Windows key wouldn't work. You can't do nothing on it. And it's like, mate, this is fucking annoying. But Don't that, go to Curry's PC World. They mug you off hard. Because they even convinced me to buy Norton Antivirus, the CD. Uh, it's still in its cellophane packaging as well. It's like, I ain't fucking using that. Um, so now that I uh, now do YouTube in another way, like... I do care about my followers and my subscribers, but I, the thing I don't care about is the count, how many I have. See, that's what I don't care about. When I first started up my channel, which wasn't actually too long after the beginning of this year, um, I don't really care about subscribers, how many I have anyway. I care about what they think on my content and if they're enjoying it or not. And I will end up doing... Uh, better videos on the feedback that I get from the videos yeah. and adjust the way I also do my videos throughout making my channel bit like slightly bigger or yeah um, but would you want to do it at a fast pace like no nah, um, would you want to start off like someone like Jack Scepter guy um, good YouTuber by the way good Irish man so uh, shout out to him everyone goes to sub to Jack Scepter guy he's only got what 12 subscribers Jack Scepter guy I believe yeah it must be because <laughs> um, the way Jack Scepter guy started YouTube apparently he was in um, like a, a wooden shed um, like so a yeah. house in the middle of nowhere so he said in one of his videos um, I remember watching some time ago that he was uh, he had his TV he was using TV or something like that and it wasn't a true 720p it was like some weird other resolutions thing so if a YouTuber like Jack Scepter guy and that can actually pull in a good fan base and still be willing to do content and be encouraged to create more when he started out with pretty much next to fuck all. Then I mean, that's know. pretty much how I've started out. I mean, I, I still haven't got anything that I can record my own videos on. I actually have to come over to Chalk Isis to spend a couple of days on doing videos. and Completely for it. free as well. Well, yeah. you do the washing up, you, uh, uh I do your that's basic, pretty much it. I, fuck <laughs> off. I do your basic household chores, boy. But, you know, being a popular, like, Twitch person like me, um, <laughs> but anyway, um, but yeah, you know, if, this is what I don't like about the YouTube stuff as well, um, I don't know who's in charge, it's a weird name, um, it's like there's two platforms called YouTube Kids, and there's a main platform called YouTube, but if you swear a lot on YouTube, but if, you, if this video is not for kids, I kind of found out and I kind of got it in my head, so kind of like working out like, if you don't mark your uploaded video or your stream as suitable for kids, or this video is made for kids, the YouTube algorithm will be like, oh, you're not made it for kids, you can fuck off then. But if you think about it, they have a YouTube Kids app now, and they also have the YouTube app itself. So if they've got two, if they've got, why can't the website be separated to www.youtubekids.com and then youtube.com for, for us people? So you can swear in your video. Yeah, you know. Because if they made like, an app for kids, like YouTube for kids, then why should us content creators shouldn't be able to swear? Why aren't we not allowed to swear? Why aren't we allowed to play games which have guts and gore in it? You know, it... It's exactly. kind of stupid. They could be bothered to make an app for kids, but it's to the point of thinking that where the, when they first brought out the kids YouTube Kids app, um, my first initial thought of it was, okay, if they've done this, why don't they do a age restriction on signing up for YouTube? Yeah, the thing, or... thing is, they have though, Colton. They have, but the kids nowadays, obviously, like my brother's done it, and sad, like he, at the time he signed up to YouTube and um, and made a YouTube account because he wanted me to help him. Because um, he forgot his password, so obviously my account backed up to yeah. years as a thing. And I went through his uh, YouTube, it's like he put his age as 47. So, Wait, kids what? Are, so yeah, so when you sign up to YouTube, it says put uh, in your age. So, I mean, kids at the age of like eight or younger or whatever could say they're older than 18. But yeah, there's like these people, these parents going, Oh, you swung your video, not an hour, it's Minecraft, it's a kids' game. No, it fucking isn't. No, but if you didn't know this, Minecraft is a classic horror game, it's actually labeled as a horror, it used to be. Uh, yeah, yeah. Back in the day, in I think it was one point two, something or one point four. Yeah, not long, yeah, not long after it came out when they added in spiders and the cave systems. But then you know you kind of notice how the platforms like switching to like more to kids now, um, because even I wanted to have non copyright music playing in the background from my Spotify playlist. But um, apparently, because the thing with non copyright music NCS, eventually the person who made that non copyright material will think, oh, that that song's been played this many times and this many downloads. I'm now going to make it copyrighted so then I can start making off money off my own creation. So I have to go from my Spotify playlist at least once every week or so to basically make sure they're not copyrighted. Yeah, and I have to remove them because I had about over 100 or so songs and now I'm down to like 20 or 30 because most of them get copyrighted. It's and a damn right shame that they've done this. And as, as I said earlier, like people can, well, as Chocker said earlier, people can fake their age, which 
really isn't getting the world anywhere. It's also a dangerous thing to do online as well because it's yeah, like because some apps, like uh, you have those Amina apps, and that where it says oh, you need to be over 16 to go on this app, or you have to be over 18 to go on this version, blah blah yeah. blah. So when kids go on it, like especially like Instagram, no offense, Instagram, you know, you still kind of have your issues now and then. Just don't worry. Um, you know, people could say, oh, I'm actually only 12. Why the fuck are you on here then if you're like 12 and it says you're going to be 16 or 18 to fucking go on it? What the fuck are you doing on here, Timmy? Fuck off. And if your name's Timmy, no offense, it's just a random name I pick up. Same as the word Karen. Yeah. Basically. Well, I mean, Karen tends to be now like pretty much just a meme. Yeah, but there is a Karen that I know, because where I live, uh, there's a person I know called Karen, and she's given me another PC, her son's old gaming PC, for absolutely nothing. So, you know, Karen, there's one Karen I know, and she's really good, giving me a gaming PC for absolutely fuck all. Uh, which is a good thing. But the thing yeah. is, with, like, with YouTube and Twitch and stuff like that, the reason I like Twitch is because it runs better on most systems, and like, if you try and live stream to YouTube, the, YouTube's live streaming software, um, it's not OBS's fault, it's not YouTube you know, studio's fault. It's actually YouTube the platform itself, because it's, if you remember, if you go on YouTube and search um, Day Out in the Day Out at the Zoo, that is made by the, uh, that video is uploaded by the first, the, by the person who, um, what's this? Oh, for God's sake. Um, so basically, uh, that person who uploaded that video is the person that founded YouTube, that made YouTube, and I'm not sure if they still own it now. Um, it, YouTube's basically an online video sharing platform, mostly. It wasn't designed for gaming, it wasn't designed for streaming. Um, but so they're, they're probably still running on the old lines of code that, you know, that are more designed to upload videos and stuff. But the thing that pisses me off the most is that my system I've got now, it can't really stream to YouTube anymore because of apparently the bitrate's wrong or the upload rate. It, it kind of takes the piss, really. Um, so I'm a bit pissed off of that. But YouTube is the right platform. It's just, you know, if they've got two apps, one for YouTube and one for YouTube Kids, why not do a website for YouTube and YouTube Kids? Because then content creators like us that can play horror games, that can play, you know, gruesome games, like, what's the other one where there's like, uh, you know, Guts, guts and Glories, like, uh, uh, which is like, um, you know, Happy Wheels, but in, game, in 4D, yeah. in 3D. But then you can't upload that and get that monetized because the guts and blood that come flying out, and it's like, oh, demonetized, it, 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 it's like, bitch, I didn't market for kids, so why are you saying, what the fuck? Even games like Dying Light. Yeah, that's not allowed, but if they upload the videos, not for kids, but yet they still won't be allowed to be um, monetized, or they still won't be allowed to have it publicly shown because if YouTube's like, oh, that's not for kids, I'm going to shove you in the back burner, and you know you can just be shared when someone actually searches your content, and not actually yeah, have yeah. it on the homepage for suggested stuff or put people in, people in the suggested feed. So you know YouTube, you have a YouTube Kids app, you have a YouTube app. Why not do two different websites? Because then kids can go to the YouTube Kids website. And then people like us that are over the age of 18 or whatever, because the internet law is 18, we have the main YouTube platform itself, but they won't let us. It's like, if you can be bothered to make two different separate apps, one or two different separate websites, it can't be that tricky, right? It's basically the same YouTube software they're using, the then, same scripts, the same server, but it will have a different web then address. Then again, doing all that could be more cost effective than the way that's why it's YouTube it. Premium and people have the join button. And, you know, I'm paying for YouTube Premium because. There was this video I watched which was five minutes long and every 10, 30 seconds or whatever, there was a fucking ad. And all that was, it's like, what way does a battery go on a motherboard? And it was like, literally it was like a four or five minute video. The whole intro was like, this is a battery. They were first invented in blah, blah, blah. It's like, mate, where does it go on the motherboard? I don't care when they were invented. I don't care where they came from. What way does it go on the motherboard? And it turns out it's wrong. It's one that slots in, um, sticking upwards rather than lying flat and it's like mate you just got about you know one dollar off me from watching your fucking 700 million ads on a five minute video it, it, it fucks me off this is why i like uh oh hi arrow how you doing man what's up how you doing um it, the thing is it's just one of those things where if there could be bothered to make two two apps then surely if they're running off the same servers then surely they can make a different website with just youtubekids.com or whatever or youtube.com forward slash kids and stuff like that, you know, and it would make better for us content creators where this one most people move over to Twitch now, and I love Twitch because it's a much better layout. I did get used to their new studio layout sort of thing. It's kind of a bit complicated, but I did get used to it. So this is why I live stream now because, you know, I don't care how many views I get, I don't care how many followers I get or how many subscribers I have. Uh, I care about the community I build. I don't care about the numbers. The numbers are just numbers. They have no value to me. You know, like there's one video on my channel which is about what, 30 seconds long? How to enable uh, every crafting recipe on Minecraft. And it's 30 seconds long. I think last time I checked it had about 
four to five hundred views. I'm surprised. But there's videos that I've uploaded that has tons of editing that took me days to edit on my old computer, on that computer over there, the Windows Intel Pentium shit. That gets fuck all views. This is why I now do live streams because, you know, anything could happen, you know, during the live stream, during the recording thing, nothing gets edited out. And, you know, uh, wasn't on, wasn't no, no to, bleh, notified on PC, but phone I was. Love that. Yeah, I like the new notification thing that I put on my thing saying, sorry, this er this message was sent as an error, blah, 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 blah. So when they get a notification okay. they, when they go live, they think it's an error from like, the actual app. I kind of, I find it kind of funny. Uh, I think I might change it, but I might, I might not. Um, but the thing is, it's, you know, there's a lot of things that do piss me off in the world, you know, there's kind of uh, <laughs> stuff going around. Yeah, and, you and me both, mate. You know, it, it does get mentally straining. Yes, I do stay indoors most of the time. Anyway, but being told to stay indoors and not have the opportunity just to go out and go get some bread, milk, some tea, and some sugar, you know, <laughs> the old British about the old scones and scones, we're going to call them. You so know, it's only due for like, what, an, half an hour to like 40 minutes to just go and walk out and, you know, and it... it it's one of those things where, yeah, I do stay indoors a lot myself. I do personally stay indoors trying to get YouTube and all that sort of stuff. It does take a time on me. But, you know, just going to the shops to get some milk. I'm not waiting half an hour where, you know, oh, no, I've about to wank about 27 It's getting times. to the point that I'm now ordering all my shopping online. Yeah, I've done it that delivered once. Because it's just pointless waiting outside a shop for about, what, two, three hours to try and get your shopping for, say, like a month or something. And you just... It's just pointless. Yeah, exactly, because the place I order it from, either some of my delivery gets fucking missing. Like, I had about 20 quid, uh, twenty pounds worth of my shopping missing from the person I got it delivered from, and they just gave me a five pound off voucher for 20 quid worth of shopping. That That's was ridiculous. missing. That's um, Should I stream to both platforms? I have 94 followers on Mixer, but a lot more people watch Twitch, so I don't know. Well, Arrow, the thing uh, is, like, on... On Twitch, I have about 70 followers, and on YouTube, I think I have about 150 signed. But Sorry about that. normally, because you know, it's just at the moment, Arrow, as I know you as a friend, um, basically work on one platform at the moment and then branch off to another platform like I've done um, as a side thing and see what works the best, or you can come over and what day you would want to work on. Like, let's say Monday to Wednesday will be Mixer, and then Thursday to Friday will be Twitch, and then Saturday, Sunday, or Saturday could be YouTube, and then Sunday, complete day off, that sort of thing. Um, you know, the reason I have a YouTube channel now is basically all my VIDs and stuff like that will go on my YouTube channel. But, you know, it, there's a lot of things I want to complain about, and that, but then, you know, people are going to think, oh, it's obviously the British always bitching and moaning, they should have a cup of tea and calm the fuck down. And the thing is, I do have a cup of tea, and I do drink tea quite a lot, and I'm always still angry. But the thing is, yeah, that's me. So, the thing is, there's a lot of things in the world that people get irritated by. And, you know, people in other countries, like let's say people in the, in the UK are getting angry at people in other countries and doing the stuff they're arguing about in another country. I'm not going to say what it is, I'm not going to bring up what it is. Um, so, basically, you know, if it's happened in your country, like for example, something that's happened, let's say, in Spain and people in the UK want to do something about Spain, unless you don't come from Spain. I know it's going to sound kind of racist, but you, you know what I mean. It's one of those things like, don't go on the on the bandwagon about it. Don't join in just for the fuck of it. Don't, you, you, I don't know how to explain it about trying to, you know, it's just one of the things. <laughs> uh, by the way, NOVODs for me, not at the moment, Arrow. Um, no, Brits are Brits, just as humorous as humans. Yes. Amen to that, Arrow. Uh, yeah, I, sorry, I drink a cup of tea to that. I'll, fin I'll finish my coffee to that. Yeah, I want a fucking coffee now, you can. Um, so yeah. It's, you know, I'm almost fully partnered on Twitch now. I need, uh, I think last time I checked, around about, uh, I think it says 72 people watching. Uh, and that's pretty much it. And I think I'll go, I can be fully partnered on Twitch. Because I do like Twitch and stuff like that. Because, you know, now that I have a shadow PC now, the only thing is, when I'm streaming, uh, I don't know last time I'm on one of my banner streams, the screen literally would get torn and like goes a weird effect because it kind of latencies out and lags out sort of thing. Um, but yeah, is um, so anything I don't know else? We've only been talking for about twenty minutes basically. I don't know what else we can rant about or talk. about. I mean, about. if anyone in the uh, out of you viewers want to ask us a question about anything, go ahead. 
you, you know, it's like, uh, it could be anything, basically, as long as it's not too personal. Like, oh, where do you live? Where do you come <laughs> from? My mum's <laughs> vagina, yeah. that is where I come from. But yeah, um, I have got some other content in mind now that I really want to do. What's that? Uh, basically, it's Space Engineers and oh, trying to get back into doing Banish yeah. again. But then again, it, it is going to piss me off. And sadly, Arrow here would have to do a lot of editing and that's going to piss me right off. Well, it's going to piss him off for the amount of, you know, editing he's going to have to do. Yeah, true. But basically, oh, I just touched on the mouse. Didn't mean to. So, you know, one of those things is that I don't really know. The size the, of the Brit's peen. What? The size of the Brit's peen versus the American. Uh, I, I just... What do you mean by that, Ari? Is that what I think it is? Because I'm not going to fucking answer that. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I've got to think I don't know what it might be, and I don't think I should <laughs> uh, reply to that. <laughs> oh, my, that is my password. Stop being a bastard, fine. Stop being a bastard. Um, you know, so I don't know what we could do because normally I would normally stream for about an hour but as there ain't a lot to really talk about at the moment but I'm thinking we can stream this again tomorrow sort of thing because um, I'm going to download this VOD and just up, upload the VOD um, just as there is, I guess. Um, I don't know what else we could do today. I could try and get a recording done today. I'm not sure. Uh, it won't. I love editing and I want to be and I want it to be my job. I have a very strong passion towards it. Oh, that's very good, Arrow. Thank you very much. I might keep that in mind for the future reference. Well, it's my editor, not yours. Fuck off. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, there's a lot of things that we can Give me learn. a sense of purpose. Yeah. We've all got a sense of purpose, even if we don't get given it. Mine out. is just being pissed off at games, basically, where the game would just run like garbage. Yeah, so, mine, mine's just... Non-existent. Not, not, yeah, Your is non-existent, mate. My purpose is non-existent at the moment. <laughs> You have your my house made. You clean my flat for me. <laughs> I'm not you know, being a housemaid. Bitch, Fuck I that. fucking cook you food. Only yeah, I but don't mean me flat. being a housemaid. Don't fucking make this as an a actual <laughs> angry bricks, mate, because I will fucking lose my temper. Anyway. But, um, yeah. You know, the reason that I, like, uh, I'm going to say again, because it's, it's angry bricks, is that I probably will get angry to talk about one, a few other topics, but, you know, this is only the first podcast. And, um, yeah. The thing is, I have no idea what we could talk about or what, to be fair. Not a clue. Like, you guys could probably give us topics for us to talk about. So, because in theory, because we haven't really got topics to talk about. So, the way we could try and build this around, Colton, is that the chat could give us a topic to talk about. Like, we've we got five minutes to talk about it and what we think about it. And we, oh, will, yeah, and, we, right. and we will have a choice saying, no, we're not talking about that. Yeah, so, you know, a, that's a good choice. Because uh, then the community idea. on my Twitch and stuff like that could try and find a topic that will irritate me so much, I would want to rage quit and quit streaming, like stop streaming because I will quit so bad, like rage so bad. But yeah, today's sponsor of this live stream is uh, something called Colton Games uh, on YouTube. Um, all you have to do is press subscribe and then you will get is uh, very good content. Better fucking get your game up. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> um, it. <laughs> I had an idea in my head, but I've just lost it because today it's like you lost your fucking marbles. Which yeah, is a good British literally. saying. <laughs> yeah, I lost my marbles as soon as I woke up today. You had to fucking wake you up today, yeah, because uh, like, your friend, your the other mom. YouTuber was gonna come around today, but he had something going on. So yeah, uh, that's why I woke yeah, you up. No, today. Like your phone's ringing and you were sleeping on your phone. I'm like, hold on, wake up, God. So I literally, I was tickling his feet and that he wouldn't wake up. So his phone was ringing, and I'm like, hold on. He's like. Oh. <laughs> like your phone's ringing. Your phone's ringing. Oh. And then I said who was actually ringing because it wasn't the other YouTuber. And he yeah. literally jumped out of bed like, hello? Uh, uh. The reason I jumped out of the bed was because it was only, only because it was my mum. Um, all the fact that I was, uh, had pre planned meeting her today and uh, just. Yeah, I'm surprised I woke up early today. I woke up around about 20 to 10. I'm like, this is the earth I've ever been after, after, Oh my you, god. After you passed out about. What, quarter past 11 last night? I, was I really that far gone then? Yeah, bro. Honestly, like, you came in saying the, um, you're, you were feeling tired and that, and not even five minutes later, I've turned around. I don't snore. Yes, do you do. Well, fuck off. Apparently, when I uh, used to sleep in VR chat, yeah, don't judge me, guys, I used to sleep in VR chat. Apparently, I keep forgetting to mute my mic. I wonder why. <laughs> 
And it's like, I'm the owner of that instance that made the world, that made the instance of the world. So no one could fucking mute me unless they turn, unless they mute me on their end. So once I woke up and I'm like, Dover, why did you mute me? Well, they can't answer that because they've muted you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and it's like, oh my God. And it's like, okay, I better, I better uh, mute my mic in VR chat when I sleep. And it's like, I never did. <laughs> I still keep forgetting to mute my mic. Um, but I don't snore that loud, do I? No, I'm not that bad, actually. Not that bad. Why have you got headphones on, like, fucking construction <laughs> headphones on? Don't know. <laughs> don't know, mate. <laughs> you know, Maybe it's the jackhammer that's going out on the road. Oh, wait, no, that's your nose. Oh, wait, the council don't fucking do road... Well, we don't pay... Ro- well, they're not spending the road tax on the roads anyway. So actually, uh, since... <laughs> ...has happened, yeah. they have actually done pretty well for the road. They're actually fine spending the uh, uh, road tax now. Uh, 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 okay. Well, the, well our tax. the tax for the cars now. It used to be called road tax. But people no, it's break, still called road tax. No, it's now just called tax, tax and uh, tax and insurance. The reason they used to call it road tax, well, they changed the name because people were complaining to the council. It's like, mate, we're paying road tax for our cars, our vehicles, but you're not spending it to fix the fucking potholes on the road. So literally, they changed the name from road tax to tax now. And it's, it's like, ridiculous. you bastards, you got us. It's ridiculous. They they've always got a loophole for something. And yeah. It just it just pisses me off. It pisses me off the it's, most it's because one of the, it's, it's one of the reasons why I don't like getting into politics because if I if I start talking about politics, I will not stop. My family found that out the hard way. We were um, on holiday. Uh, no, nowhere special, but we were just on holiday and uh, the basement. New, no, nah, newsreel came on and uh, I didn't know what it was about or anything, but somehow I just started talking about it all. And me and my family, although we were supposed to be going to the beach and places like that and having fun and that. Spent probably about, I don't know, three, four hours talking about politics. Mm. <laughs> we vowed after that after that, that we'd never talk politics in the house again. Oh, God, my mum <laughs> hates when I talk about politics. She goes, oh, she you goes, Chuck, guys, can you just stop talking back to the TV? I'm like, mum's like, it's not Gogglebox. I'm like, I fucking wish it was. <laughs> oh, mate, if we, like, were, literally, if we were on Gogglebox, they'd have to make a whole episode. The guy would be the people going, ready? No, beep, 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 beep. Fuck, I'll hold it down throughout the whole episode. Fuck it. <laughs> um, Can you imagine the person that does sign language? Middle finger, two fingers, wanker sign. It's like, <laughs> you gotta sign language, that you prick. But we got to. Why? This is what they're saying. What do they hold the button down? It's doing the wanker sign non-stop, like they're fucking, as if they're tossing off a ghost sign. Wanker. But um, but yeah, what were we talking about? <laughs> well, politics. But yeah, I can't remember now what we were talking about. That's weird. Nice. Yeah, it's like, you know, like Rotax, yeah, but now they're changing oh, yeah, tax. Can you imagine if Twitch Prime was called Twitch Prime, but you never got Prime features, basically? You never got the features, that, like Prime yeah, features. Yeah, that's pretty much I mean, they just name it to Twitch Gold or something, or Twitch Plus, where you don't see adverts. That's pretty much it. It's like you're paying for something or giving money for something that you're not getting what it actually says it's for back. Basically, you're paying for something and not getting anything in return, mm. which is... Sounds like Father's Day for my dad. Fuck off. <laughs> shit, Fuck off. Fuck. And then dad, if you're watching this, you're a fucking tossbot cum face wanker. I'm yeah. gonna swear worse was that. The guy with the beeper gun off, for fuck's sake. <laughs> but yeah, I'm actually hoping to start doing a uh, special news, but I played it on my computer once. I know I keep bringing this up, guys. It's just that I really like the look of special news because I have a really imaginative mind and like creating stuff. Thing is, I tried it on my old PC. Uh, about the channel system and I was getting like 40 frames because um, yeah. special edition is limited to 120 so it's double the frame rate so it's, so it's 60 frames but it would say 120 because it renders the game twice sort of thing so if I was getting 40 frames that means I'm actually only getting 20 yeah. and that's why it was so terrible and I literally done the tutorial to learn how to play it but I still don't know how to fucking play the cunt and it's like oh let me uh, fly was- now let me look to the right why am I fucking sideways some what part is it to rotate my character? Some games it's it's like that though, but um, as you were saying about you being creative, with uh, my channel, that's something I actually need to increase on, is my creativity. Um, all through school, primary school and all that, that, all that sort of stuff, I was at, never actually really creative. Um, I took this class in school for like a main course, and it was the only course I passed, but I'm, all I made was a little cheap, little wine rack. And somehow I passed that with flying colours. Did you go to B&M and buy one? <laughs> no. I'm having that. Handmade the it. thing is, when I was doing wood tech at school and that, making these things where it's like, where you do a little groove and it rolls like to the left and then rolls itself back to the right sort of thing. And I made one really well. But some bell end took it and it's like, give me back my roller. 
And he's like, nah. I'm like, give it back to me. So I just fucking threw a fucking rubber mallet at him. But then it hit the teacher. I'm like, I'm leaving the classroom. Yeah. So it was like, I believe the classroom will be thrown out. What, you're going to pick up the classroom, detach it from the main <laughs> building, and just throw it out? Yeah, that's going to fucking work, Carl. And I, what, are you He-Man or something? Or the Hulk or what? Oh, uh, mate, I wish. Places I'd be right now with Empower was fucking hell. Yeah, but then if you think about it, like, you know, what was that uh, thing we were watching on Netflix? It was that uh, zombie, what was it? Zombie Reality Z. Reality Z. That is actually quite good. If you guys don't mind the lip sync of the English uh, dub over it, because I believe it was, like, the, I think it was Spanish. The, or no, the, the no ser- it was in Brazil, wasn't it? But then... Um, the series is based in Brazil, um, made by, obviously, a Brazilian fucking... Uh, producing company, yeah. And company. I have to say, it's the most realistic um, zombie film we could watch, honestly, like, series. It's like, yeah. It is, it's... It's indescribable as as to how close to reality that it could be. Because it's the it closest be. thing, because you have like War Z, you have, uh, what's the other one that everyone's on about? Um, uh, Walking Dead. Walking Dead. It's actually better than Walking Dead. If you can't, if you don't, if you can get past like the English words, not math, because they obviously, they're Brazilian actors and obviously they try and pronounce the English words, so it doesn't really sync up properly. The storyline's good and it always keeps you on the toes. Like the first episode, was quite funny in a way, but then, it, <laughs> then it's it was, like it gets like beginning of the episode really interesting. Middle of the episode is like oh it's getting a bit boring, now. and at the end of each episode it's like where's the next one? Literally each episode at the very end of it will always leave you on a cliffhanger. Yeah, like it, it grips you into it so hard that I actually sat there for the whole first series of what they've currently got out at the moment. Yeah, and just sat there watching the whole thing. It got to the point I actually watched it twice. Yeah, and if you guys don't know what Big Brother is, I'm sure in America, <laughs> it's like, for example, it's this building full of like normal people before they become celebrities sort of thing. And you're in there, you're doing like like stuff in the kitchen, bedroom stuff, you have cameras Basically, everywhere, they have a uh, voice thing like, this is Big Brother, can blah, 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 come to the stage. It's you're in this studio, you've got random, you're in a building with random people that you've never met before, and you've got a... You got to try and see if you can live with them. Uh, you have to do tasks and missions, yeah, like sort of thing. In reality, like oh, can Jacob please scramble egg and throw it at Jessica? Or, so, guys, if you want to know what we're on about about uh, Reality Z, just search on uh, on Netflix. Google uh, or no, search on Google. Oh, yeah. uh, Big Brother, uh, British TV show, Big Brother, and it's like that, but it's called Reality Z on Netflix, and you get what we are. You understand what we mean because it's actually amazing, yeah. and. It's not going to ruin it. There is one character that goes to the place and doesn't realise what's actually going on. They, oh my! It's very, Basi- it's like very hilarious. Basically, in um, this this person that Chalk Ice here is talking about, basically, if you get a normal film, you get them. Sometimes you get them sh- not to be rude to general blonde people. Or women you get a stereotypical general, like blondes, basically like yeah, joke blondes, st- mean joke st- blondes. She's your stereotypical blonde who doesn't actually think the world is being attacked by zombies. She thinks it's all part of the TV a show. Yeah, TV show, and you actually find out partway through one of the episodes that she's been watching. Um, a lim- uh, wh- it's called Olympus, I believe. Olympia, it's called, yeah. or Olympus. It's called Olympus, the reality show. Um, yeah. And even though, like, it's a zombie apocalypse, the the TV, the cameras have still been recording the whole th- situation. And broadcasting and it, yeah. Yeah, and broadcasting it, and she's been watching it all through, trying to get back to the Olympus place as a safe haven. Because she thought they were uh, taking requests, like, for new people to come in and yeah. stuff like that. And she also, she still thought it was still part of, like, uh, what's it? It's not, uh, not rehearsals, the one. Um, tryouts or something, trying to get more people yeah. in. So that's what she had in her head. She thought... It was like, oh, I want to try out for this. I, I just can't accept the next few episodes. To oh, I can't wait for it because, series. yeah, because how it ended on season one is like, oh, God. Well, you haven't even seen the final episode. Shut up, you told me anyway. Fucking hell. Um, but yeah. Party. <laughs> so, yeah, obviously, with your channel, Colton, there's a lot of stuff that needs to happen, obviously. Yeah, I've, I've, Arrow's I've, my editor, well, going to be my editor, so. Obviously, you could be you be stuck with like marble gameplay for a little while, but you can still use my system anyway, which is yeah. bare minimum. It, it can just about run a few things um, um, and that. Yeah, for whenever I can, um, I I have started trying to play a few survival games, um, trying to get the gist of what I want to get onto my channel first, and um, seeing where I want to go with what I want to, how I want to proceed with everything in general. Um, and then when I when I figured that all out, I'll start doing some recordings and then try 
if I need to edit them, I'll edit them or get try and learn to edit and then post on it. Yeah, I've just noticed my uh, desktop audio is being picked up. Ha. Shut up. <laughs> I'm on about a uh, rigging Discord message because I didn't put myself in Do Not Disturb because that's me being stupid. Uh, we all have our moments there, here. It's just there, being British, to be fair. I mean, e even if any of you decide to sub to me and have any ideas on what I could potentially put onto my channel, that would be amazing. Like, yeah. Any any input from anyone on the outside world that doesn't even know me would be an amazing help. Yeah, um, obviously, we're all small YouTubers at the moment and yeah. stuff like that. And, you know, it's one of those things where we are literally trying out things, trying to find the limits of our devices, our computers and stuff like that. Because I will only upload content that I will enjoy doing, even if it pisses me off and I enjoy recording it and like uploading it and like editing it and stuff like that. You know, it's one of those things where I will not upload things like trending. Like when Fortnite came out and that, uh, oh, I tried no, on one of my other channels and I didn't enjoy the game. Um, because I didn't really like it. Like, you shoot someone once and suddenly you have a fucking skyscraper right in front of you. And stuff like that. Um, like, I would play Fortnite if they removed the building aspect. Like, just have guns and that, you know. Or every time you put something down, you have like a five second cooldown so you can't suddenly build like a fucking skyscraper or a bloody bridge very quickly. See, I mean, even though they've built, um, got the building implemented into Fortnite, I think that's actually quite interesting because it gives you more of a chance to survive, but it also hinders you in a way. Because the more you build in a single location, the more chance you're actually going to die from someone either sneaking up behind you, yeah. like whilst you're building, or like say there's a sniper halfway across the map zooming in on you while you're building. You can't really stop that bullet hitting you if you don't know where they are. Well, then again, yes and no, but yeah. Um... Obviously, there's a few other trends going around. Like, obviously, I wanted to do Minecraft stuff on my channel, but sadly, I do enjoy it, but sadly, my computer struggles to run it sometimes. Even when I'm either recording or streaming, it is a hit and miss. And um, basically, um, it's hard to get into that sort of genre now of Minecraft. Yeah, because a lot of other YouTubers, like bigger YouTubers, that have been doing Minecraft series for years and like... For like it's become nine a... plus years, and it's hard to get yourself get your foot in the door to start doing that content. Yes, yeah. I enjoy doing it, but I have ADD, and my attention deficit disorder will basically means um, I will struggle to focus on a normal series like a an actual gameplay, uh, like an actual like yeah gameplay sort of thing. Because you know, there's a few games on my channel that I uploaded like part one, and when I start to record part two, it absolutely shits itself. Like my OBS shits itself, or my recording software stops working properly. And in general, basically, I won't, I can't be able to do part two. So that kind of puts it in my head like there's no point doing part one or part two series because it could, you know, do the part two or part three or whatever. Like if I do the series and I'm literally one episode before the very end of the whole game or whatever and it's the final part to piece it all together and my computer, will struggle, my computer struggles to run it, then obviously I'd be on my channel as an unfinished series and it kind of pisses me off and makes me really angry. Knowing that I can't, you know, do that sort of like the last minute content sort of thing. Um, I don't know what else we could really talk about. To be fair, dude. Um, I think we have pretty much covered everything in, you know, in the first podcast. Um, we could try and do this, you know, maybe tomorrow, all the way, like every day till Thursday. Because you're gonna go back to yours yeah. and do your sort of stuff and that, and then yeah. we'll figure out a day where we can actually do these podcasts sort of thing. And stuff like that. Um, and we can find things to talk about. Yep. I won't be on the podcast unless it's somewhat later in the day. Yeah, it will be later on in the day. Yeah, it'll be later on the day. Obviously, it's going to be Father's Day tomorrow. And I'm actually going to be going to see my, my dad and my stepdad. Um, yeah, and help your friend and, move in. And that, no, that's Monday. Oh, yeah, Monday. Whoops, never mind. Um, so, yeah, Monday should be, again, the same sort of situation. Um but other, after that, I'm pretty much free to join on podcast. Yeah, what the hell? Balls are good. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh, for God's sake. Don't really no. want to comment on that. <laughs> I do. They're quite nice, actually. Um, but yeah, depends on I what you mean by that. I think we will end the podcast now. I um, hope you enjoyed the podcast. And it's good to be here. Yeah, thanks for joining, um, you fuckface. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this will be uploaded. Uh, the same one will be uploaded on my channel and the same one on Carlton's as well. 
Um, Carlton doesn't have a Discord at the moment. Um, I will try and help him with that sometime in the future. Um, uh, that's not exactly true. I do have a Discord account, but I'm thinking of deleting it and recreating a new one, more linked to my YouTube channel. You can just re um, rename your username, dude. That's the thing is, do. though, um, on this one, I've got too many too many people on there that I don't talk to and I don't really want them having my Discord. Yeah. So I'm just thinking of recreating a new Discord. You too, Arrow. <laughs> Wait, I should have closed Wait. this a while ago. Why am I still here? <laughs> <laughs> because uh, we're amazing. Yes, because we are the most popular Twitch fots ever. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, we hope to see you in tomorrow's stream or stuff like that. Or maybe the stream, maybe the next day or whatever. But yeah, thank you ever so much. Uh, anyway, so if this is on Carlton's channel, subscribe to Carlton. And this is on my channel, subscribe um, to me, you know, or vice versa, whatever. Thanks for watching, and um, I hope you all have a very good day and the rest and of your day. Stay and stay safe. Morning. Yeah, stay safe and make sure the COVID stuff doesn't bite you in the ass. Uh, tell your buds and message me if he needs an answer. Will do. Really appreciate it. Right then, guys, thank you ever so much for watching, and uh, take care of yourselves. Goodbye. <laughs>